Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Friday Fright series where today we are looking at, as you can plainly see from the screen here, Outlast. And I am extraordinarily excited to be playing this today. I've been paying attention to the development of this game for a while and really been looking forward to it. And it's here, just coming out uh, the other day. And I am very happy, very pleased, and cannot wait to get into things. Now, as you can see, I do, ha do have a continue here, but that's because I just started the game real quick to test recording settings. Not a whole lot in the uh, control of your graphics department, but hey, you know what, it's, it's good enough. And control-wise, a lot of rebindable keys, I'm always happy to see that, even though, I'll be honest, I rarely ever rebind keys, but it's nice to know that the option's there if I do desire to. And of course, we've got subtitles and all that that we can put up here. Ooh, actually, I need to turn those on. I like having subtitles on, just in case a loud noise causes me to mix, or not mix, but miss something. And yeah, everything else should be good. Show the tutorial, since I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn that down a bit. There we go, that should be good for the settings. Let's apply there and start a new game. Now, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! <laughs> I will, my friend. I will. So, here's basically the story of it. You are Miles Upshore, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Wonderful. This should be fun. <laughs> uh, I, I really cannot wait to take a look at this game. We appear to be in the car. It's wonderful. Department of Agriculture, blah, 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 blah. Now, this game is an indie game made at a triple A sort of quality level. It is made by Red Barrels, which is an indie company based in Montreal. And they are, well, a small company made up of people who have pl who have worked on a lot of big titles over the years. You know, they've worked on Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, and Splinter Cell, and these guys from all these different games came together to make a company that, you know, to make unforgettable games. So I am, I am looking forward to this. I've got a lot of high hopes for it, <laughs> and hopefully it does not disappoint. I like the little intro sequence. We've lost the radio while I was talking, and we're pulling in, and there is surprisingly no one at the security desk. Okay, well, and the howl of a wolf in the background. Okay, so we've got a confidential file. Ooh, a mute mail address. Nice, nice. Okay, you don't know me. I have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkov Psychiatric Systems Facility in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. I like whoever you are, and you're probably dead. <laughs> Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Interesting. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed, so it's something waiting deep in the mountain. So they found a Balrog then, huh? And apparently I have a camcorder that takes double-A batteries. I could go for one of those. <laughs> okay, so we've got a camcorder. We can zoom in and out. Night vision, that's always good. I'm actually not doing anything right now. It's basically showing you the game itself is taking control at the moment, and it's showing you what you can do, I guess. And here is Mount Massive Asylum. New objectives added. So tab, a reporter's notebook, N for notes, and J for documents. Or I could just, yeah, bit that. Awesome. No! No! 
Oh, they closed it on me. Hmm. Mouse feels still quite twitchy, and I lowered the sensitivity. Hold on one moment. Let's just go in here. Lower it a bit more, I guess. There we are. Eh, better, but still twitchier than I'd like. Oop, there we go. Alright. Kind of a tight fit through that. There we are. We have to thread the needle, so to speak. Okay, let's zoom in. I don't know the password. Okay, we're recording. And so far, nothing interesting. Okay, let's... I'm assuming the pedestrian gate. To open a door slowly, hold down left mouse button. Or just hit it real quick to open quickly. Excellent. Right mouse button, already figured that one out. Event recorded, read the note! I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkov Psychiatric Systems in 09, under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. Oh, so that's why the radio went down. Blah, blah, blah. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the store that breaks the bastards. Wonderful. Let's, let's try and break them then. Whoa, whoa. I see someone over there. Hello? Uh, well, that doesn't bode well. Okay. I like the graininess of the game here. It's kind of nice. So we can left shift to sprint. Can we go in? Nope. Locked. Hello? Yeah. Being a uh, journalist with... Why are... Th I didn't notice this when I walked in. Why are there military trucks here? Th um... Huh. Interesting. Kind of looks like one of those Elrad. Is that the name of them? The sort of like crowd control weapon that the military has? Okay, let's see if we can get through this. Nope. Anyone else in these windows? Okay. No, that's chained off too. Alright, so I went the in. Entirely the wrong way for the first little bit of the game here. Lovely. It was a very beautiful looking game. Uh, I should probably mention it is made in the Unreal Engine. So, whoop, left control. There we are. Let's explore a little bit. So, yes, the graphics should be quite nice. Ooh, there's a window I can go through there, but I wonder, can I go through this door also? Uh, though if I hit the door, it'll probably open the door, unless I do it slowly. Can I do it slowly? No, actually, it didn't do anything. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try for the window. Hello? Alright, so just walk up to the ladder. Lovely. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, so they want you to go this way to learn jump. Jump! There we are. And you can jump up to ledges as well. Excellent. So I guess the guys working on Uncharted <laughs> helped out with that bit. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello. So this is where they want you to use the night vision. And F to turn on the night vision. Okay. Oh, God, I have battery life to manage. That isn't good. I never do well with that. Okay. And I can lean around corners as well. There we are. This place is pretty uh, messed up here. Oh, you're going to come on, aren't you? It wouldn't be a horror game without a TV that comes on. <laughs> Though, what was that scream? Huh. 
Yeah, it just wouldn't be a horror game without a TV that didn't turn on when you got close to it. Oh. With the finding batteries thing, or... Well, with the managing of batteries, I'm assuming you have to find batteries in the level. So I keep looking around at everything to try and see something. Squeezing through. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, that's cool. I like the, uh, when you walk up close to something, he puts his hand up. That's, that's cool. A little bit of immersion there. I know, I like it. Oop, battery. Oh, how do I pick it up? Okay, just that. Excellent. And R to reload. Good. Ah. That's not a good sign. That's never a good sign. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die. Slowly. We got a uh, phone off here. Let's read the documents. What do we got? Alright, we've got Billy here apparently. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed self directed lucid dream states. Ooh, that'd be fun. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedules. Uh, never good to be messing around with people's hormones. Uh, his mother's lawsuit, blah, blah, blah. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Uh, that's not good. The blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Ooh. The only Traeger on company record. One Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh, uh, that did the little whoom music. That always makes me worry. Looking around for batteries everywhere. Oh, jeez. Back to recording. Oh, no. Well, we're not going in there. We're going in here. Oh, I didn't want to go in here either. <laughs> Something's in the vents. Avoid contamination. Wash your hands. Hmm, though. Ooh, battery. I keep trying to hit E to get the battery. Can I open these? I didn't try. No. Fridge? No. All right, well, let's check this bathroom. What the heck? Man up. Ah, oh, that's not good. It closed and locked itself. Okay. That's locked, too. And there's blood on the other side. Oh, God, that means I have to go through the vent, doesn't it? I don't want to go through the vent. <laughs> Whoever wants to go through an air vent in a horror game? Anything interesting this way? Nope. Okay. Keep the camera on, actually. Whoa! Hello! Alright, we found life! Possibly demented life that wants to kill us. It's never a good thing. Oh, man. Hello? Anyone home? All right. Slowly. Whoa, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that got me good. All right. <laughs> it's been so calm up to this point, I was not expecting that at all. Oh, man. Okay, we got another body here without a head. That's not good. Oh, there's the head! Zuh. There's multiple heads. Huh. Well, this isn't good. Hello, person, and lots of bodies. You're still alive. They killed us. They got out. Who? The, the variants. Oh. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Oh god. From security control. Oh, okay. Okay, so Oh god thing. Big thing.
Just saw him there. That's not good. Why am I continuing to go this direction? <laughs> Okay, well this ramped up quite nicely. Oh man. <laughs> I'm very worried now. I saw him go through those doors. Oh. Am I supposed to? Nope, nope. I'm not going through the doors. We're going through here. Little fake. Whoa! Ah, they didn't get behind me. I was just looking behind me. And. Okay. Someone creepily humming. Lovely. You're gonna kill me, and aren't you? Who are you then? A reporter. So, am, am I dead? No, not yet, at least. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. No, no, just a Guard journalist. Your life, son. You have a calling. Oh, why is there always a calling? It never ends well for me. And other people. <laughs> okay. Well. Escape Asylum, Access Security Control, Main Doors. Proclaim the Gospel. Well. I'm in trouble. Okay, ooh, man. All right, well, I think that this is a good place to end this video as, you know, just a sort of a first look at this game. I am really excited, though, as I said. And I'm probably going to keep on playing this game on its own little series because I want to see more of this, and uh, hopefully you guys do as well. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Very scary. Though, oh. Uh, I'm going to have nightmares. But <laughs> it should be fun. And yeah, you guys definitely should all go and try it. I believe the price is uh, $19.99 USD. Uh, I pre-ordered it and got it for like, I don't remember how much off. I think it was like 20% off. But hey, $19.99 isn't much for a beautiful game like this. And one that is scary. Very, very scary. So I would say to go check this out. Links, as always, will be in the description. But yes, this has been Outlast by Red Barrels, a wonderful indie company. And, oh, I cannot wait to play more of this. So thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.